Uh, hi everyone, in this video we will add page transition uh, in your ActJS using Framer Motion. So we will create something like this, okay? Let's check it. The, and also we will use React Auto DOM with this. See it. The effect, the transition that we have. And see it to the home and about the, the transition. So now we will create this example. So let's get started. You can also add images and other things to your um, page. But I have added just the text to add the transition. So let's get started. So for this page transition in ReactJS using Framer Motion, so we need a few packages. The first package is to install Framer Motion. The Framer Motion, okay. npm install Framer Motion. After that, React Router DOM. Yeah, this package. npm install React Router DOM. After installing this, so now we will start our coding. So the first thing is that to create the uh, our app or CE React Functional Component import export. Here I will set up my routes. So the first thing is that to import the routes, import browse router and routes and also route. After importing these, so let's use them. Browser router and we will declare the routes after that the route. Yeah, here we have on two props path. The path would be for example for slash and the element element would be is equal to home. Here we will you render the home element. Come here, just remove one M. So now let's come to the home page. So here I will just write a few text style. I will style it inline style. Color, for example, blue. Font size. There's pixel, 30 pixel, and I will write something home, home page for transition, and also let's add adding 20 pixel. So after that, uh, so now um, instead of using this div, we will use div that motion. We will use framer motion for animation. Okay, for that I will use I will import motion motion from framer motion. Okay, this has imported. So now let's use it. To use it, we will just uh, write that before our div motion dot div, and here also I will specify a few properties of the framer motion. Uh, those would be yeah the first one would be the initial initial is equal to the opacity ct would be zero so let's wrap it into parentheses curly braces and also let's add another property which is animate uh, in this property we will add opacity one so in the initial that will be zero but uh, at the animate it will be one but whenever it exit and exit again it will goes to opacity to zero okay and let's add the duration uh, transition transition we will add duration to this duration would be for example 500 so it is not in millisecond it is in second so we can add uh, two two second and it was the home uh, component so let's add some code for the about so just copy this okay just copy this 
and copy and let's come to the about react functional component export uh, and right here instead of that this and also import the motion from primer motion and here we will add about page for transition mm, let us see the color would be green and here we will import the home import home from home okay let's say import the about oh sorry about from about and whenever we just come let's create another path for about about and this would be about now let's create now bar so to create now bar let's create a ul list let's remove this yeah so remove this uh, okay let's ul the list let's name now and this last name so now item and also let's add a link that would be last name now link instead of using anchor tag we will use link now for react router uh, react router dom mm, let's import it from this so let's use that and instead of href we will use two to it is slash for home here we will write home and also let's one another one for uh, about it is about so okay we have it so now let's uh, import it in the app.js so on the top we will import our um, now bar because that should be always on the top and here we will if we have the uh, these two the home and the about so now let's run the server npm start the server will start now So yes, uh, uh, now we will check that it will render. See, mm, so the link didn't create it. So let's copy the bootstrap link for that. Bootstrap link. Yeah, sorry, bootstrap now bar. I think I didn't use the. Mm, for now bar, I will use the bootstrap. bootstrap dash css bootstrap dot main dot css so now let's check it see it is okay okay and we don't need it. so now let's create an about see the about page and see the home page see the transition and also we can add uh, one thing else that we should add that is the just uh, import the animated presence from a frame or motion the reason for this is that it will uh, track the exit and uh, enter of uh, these uh, components of the frame or motion okay so let's rough our components in this animated presence and let's cut it and let's write it here so let's try to exist before enter it will just render one at the time so let's 
so see it all about all about so it was all about the page transition in react.js using uh, the framework motion so if you have liked this video so please uh, subscribe to our youtube channel and also like this video and thanks for watching